Writing Course Development for English 116 Students. Unit 3. Telling a Story. Unit 3. Telling a Story. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to Describe events using the present and past continuous forms of a verb. Identify the subject, verb, object positions in a sentence. And develop ideas with the given information. Let's look at language usage of was or were plus ing. Look at these sentences. A car was overtaking a pickup on a bend. Farid was driving to Alayun. As we could see, we have was plus the ing at the end of a verb. Note, we use is or are plus ing to describe a scene or action in the present. Number two, please note, we use was or were plus ing to describe a scene or action in the past. Sequence words. When we tell a story, we use words like then to show that one thing happened after another. Other similar words are then, after that, after a few minutes or days, and later, finally. Sentence building. Put the words in the correct order in the table below. Let's look at examples A, B, C, and D. For example, a car was overtaking a pickup on a bend. Let's fill in the chart. A bus was waiting for a man at a stop. Two men were crossing the road near the petrol station. A policeman was directing the traffic on the road. Some boys were playing football near the road. Let's join the sentences with so. We have option 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and please note, we do not usually begin a sentence with so, and we usually put a comma before so. For example, number 1, Fareed was very thirsty, so he decided to stop for a drink. Number 2, the front tire was flat, comma, so... I changed the wheel. Number three, a lorry came out of a side road, comma, so the driver of the car braked. Number four, the driver was injured, comma, so I phoned for an ambulance. Number five, Salah was worried about Farid, comma, so he started to look for him. Number six, the car suddenly stopped, comma, so Farid checked the engine. Now we're going to look at number two. The front tire was flat, so I changed the wheel. Remember, always before so we have a comma. Also, we do not usually begin a sentence with so. The front tire was flat, comma, so I changed the wheel. Number three, a lorry came out of a side road. Comma, so, the driver of the car braked. Number four, the driver was injured. Comma, so, I phoned for an ambulance. Number five, Salah was worried about Farid. Comma, so, he started to look for him. Number six, the car suddenly stopped. Comma, so, Farid checked the engine. Now, use the verbs given below to complete the given paragraph. Ran, hit, had, stopped, braked, was, were, going, was driving, was following. A few days ago, I, blank, an accident on the motorway, I, towards the city, it, the morning, and a lot of people, to work, a large lorry, close behind me, suddenly a boy, out in front of me. I and just in front of him, but a lorry, the back of my car. Luckily, nobody hurt, but my car badly damaged. As you could see, as I was reading this paragraph, it didn't really make sense. 
It's because we have to put the words in the blanks below. Let's begin. A few days ago, I had an accident on the motorway. I was driving towards a city. It was the morning and a lot of people were going to work. A large lorry was falling close behind me. Suddenly, a boy ran out in front of me. I braked and stopped just in front of him. But a lorry hit the back of my car. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but my car was badly damaged. Assignment. I want you to write a paragraph about an accident that happened to someone you know or you saw in the near past, just like in the example paragraph in the previous slide. Use past verbs, such as was or were, plus ing verbs.